Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back for those of you who are new. Welcome. Um, as always, it's free to subscribe. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. A special thank you as always to my subscribers. But I'm going to be doing this pineapple review for you all because in my right hand here I have this pink pineapple they're very expensive so and then I have a regular yellow pineapple so I'm gonna review these for you because um, just to see if it's worth the difference in cost this pineapple was like ten dollars for this one pineapple so let's see if it's worth I've, if it's worth the money so I've watched the outside of these Skin that has fruit that has skin like this can be contaminated. The skin can have bacteria or something on it. So I know it may sound a little weird, but it's important to kind of wash it. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a garbage bag to put these this skin in as I cut it. I hope I haven't let this one get too ripe. Oh, this may be overripe. Oh, I hate that because it sure was expensive. Um, I should be able to salvage some of it to taste for you. Uh, yeah, let's cut cut this. Get this slice. Oh, I think it's okay. <laughs> it looks really odd seeing a pink pineapple. So now, according to experts... All pineapple is pink early on in its development. But yellow pineapple, there's an enzyme that turns the flesh of the pineapple yellow. And so in these pink pineapple, researchers turned off the enzyme so that the flesh stays pink and that it never turns yellow. So that's how they made this pink pineapple. So I guess that's not, it is genetically modified, but it isn't because it's not crossbred with another fruit. It looks like watermelon to me. Alrighty, let's slice them up. Slice them up. I got the core here. I'll throw away the core. Gosh, I hope I haven't let him stay in the fridge too long. Oh my God. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Ooh. That's delicious. My goodness. People say that this pink pineapple is sweeter, but honestly, oh shoot, it's too expensive to be dropping on the floor like that. But honestly, any pineapple that you let ripen is sweet, in my opinion. Wouldn't you say so, people? I would. Ooh, I'm gonna eat good, I love pineapple. Okay, let's get this sliced and I'll be back. I'm going to get this sliced and I'm going to cut the other one open and then we're going to do a comparison of the two and I will be, I'll be back. I can't help it. I'm going to eat a little bit. Next, I'm taking my yellow pineapple. And I let the two pineapples ripen in a brown paper bag. And this pineapple is all equally as ripe and equally as delicious. But let's go on a little further and see how the two, how they compare to each other in terms of flavor, texture, sweetness, acidity, and things of that nature. I've got them both sliced up here and then let me see here I have my yellow pineapple mm. 
My God, this is so juicy. And this is very sweet. It's been in a brown paper bag for the last three days. Mm -mm -mm. Very good. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm smacking. It's just so juicy. Here we have our pink pineapple. You see it? Let's see. Mmm. There is a subtle, there's a subtle difference in the flavor. I will say that they taste very similar. However, the pink pineapple has a mild, much more mild. The flavor is more mild. I won't say much more mild. The flavor is more mild. To me, the yellow pineapple, the flavor is more intense. This pineapple was fully ripe when I bought it. It's been in the, the fridge. So let me say, let me let this one warm up because this pineapple is room temp. I'll be back. Let me let this warm up and see if that makes a difference in the flavor before I make my final taste. I finally figured out, I don't, okay, I don't have time to wait until this warms up because it's already late and it's after work. But I finally figured out how to describe the difference in the flavor between these two. They taste very similar, but different. You know, like the difference between a regular red watermelon and a yellow meat watermelon, it's like that. The flavor is much more intense in the yellow pineapple and this pineapple this pink pineapple is very sweet so I would say unless you just have got to know what the difference in flavor is it really was not worth paying the eight dollar difference between the two pineapples the pink pineapple being eight dollars more expensive um I mean unless you just want to like I did of course you most certainly can do that mmm -hmm. Mmm. It is sweet though. People say that these this pink pineapple is sweeter. I don't think that it's necessarily sweeter. I think that it's not quite as acidic as the yellow. So the sweetness, the sweetness seems to be enhanced because you don't have that um that acidic aftertone the after bite that pineapple can have yellow pineapple can have that seems to be um toned down a lot in the pink pineapple so anyway there's my opinion and there's my review on yellow meat versus pink Meat, well, pink pineapple. <laughs> um, as always, it is free to subscribe. Again, a special thank you to my subscribers. As always, it's free to subscribe. So subscribe, comment, like, and share. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. I don't know why my camera's blurry all of a sudden. Um, and... I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope if you ever see one of these pink pineapple in the grocery store, that this video helps you make your decision. I, for one, did not even know they existed until I saw them in the store recently, about two weeks ago. And uh, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.